Hey, what's up, guys? Andy here, and today we're reviewing over Fairy Tale episode 314, titled Master Enchant. Uh, let's go ahead and get the big thing out of the way. Um, is Urza dead? Uh, don't let me know in the comments down below because I'm really excited about this. Uh, I mean, they're putting it up like she's going out as a hero, and I loved every second of the final here. Well, not the final episode. We still got a few to go, I assume, but the final little bit of this fight, uh, it was hype as shit, I'm not gonna lie, but like, they set it up as hers is dead here, and I'm trying to remember, because I did read some of the manga, uh, way back in the Dizay when it came out, but I don't think I've seen any of this. I mean, if I have, I don't remember it, and I... I don't think there's any way they kill Urza off here. I don't think. But if they did, this is the way to do it. Uh, Urza's always been a character who put her friends before herself, and this was the way to do it. But we'll talk about all that in the review. Overall, great episode. Uh, Wendy is a confirmed badass. Uh, Natsu is still stuck in limbo, but we did get a really cool piece of information there. And, um, yeah, other than that, I mean... Is Urza dead, you know? It's one of those things where, like, I'm trying so hard to remember, and I don't want to relook it up because it'll spoil it for myself, but she might be dead. But anyway, without further delay, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this review. I want to talk about this really bad. So uh, if you all do enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the video. They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. We start our episode off with some recap here, then we jump straight into the intro. But uh, after the intro, we get a little cool piece of new information here. You know, Irene is just batshit crazy. She's like, I thought telling you about our past would make me feel a little bit of love for you. And she's like, but nope, I didn't feel a single thing. Now it's time to die. And Urza looks at her and she goes, I'll always have my friends. And that's when we see Wendy come in. Sky Dragon wing attack. Wendy's got the pink hair rolling. And she's just, Wendy goes off right here. But you know, they get an attack off on her. And we cut straight into the title card as the attack hits. And we get to see here the title card, Master Enchant, which it'll make more sense in just a minute. But, uh, you know, there, she's telling him, she's like, well, what about the dragon seed? You know it's in you. And Wendy goes, no, my mother suppressed it uh, when I was little, cause, meaning we won't change in the dragon. So all of the dragon slayers we know do not have that problem about the dragon seed. Uh, Natsu gets told here by Ignil, he goes, I prevented yours from growing, however... You got bigger problems, because we find out that Natsu here also has a seed in him, along with the dragon seed, which is known kind of as a demon seed. Um, and they're about to merge, and when they merge, Igniel tells them, you're gonna die. And, I mean, <laughs> it was it was some pretty heavy stuff there, and coming from Igniel, I bet he, you know, he believes it, and... When Wendy tells Irene, because we cut back over here, about how, you know, Grandina suppressed it and all the other ones did, she goes, it's not fair, give me my life back, give me my body, and that's what it says, I'll give you, I'll set you free from your misery. And she hits her here, and you see the blood run down, and she's like, I finally see it, Urza. A young body who's a dragon slayer and an enchanter? I must have it. And she's taking over Wendy's body here. Uh, not taking over. It's not a form of possession. See, she specifically states that. She takes over Wendy's body. Like, it's hers now. But, <laughs> that was crazy. And she looks at her here and she goes, it wouldn't be right for a cute little girl to be a mother like this. So I must erase you from existence. That way my body can finally, or my new life can finally start. We get a scene here and Urza, we cut back to when Wendy joined the guild and Urza's telling her, you know, parting with a loved one is always a big pain, but your friends will get you through it. Come join Fairy Tale. And this was such a, like, you know, inspiring moment. I was like, oh, shit, that's cute. And that's when Wendy sets up in Irene's body. And she performed a reverse enchant to where they swapped instead of her just being gone. And so she starts fighting and she's pushing her out of the body. And 
<laughs> Irene is to the point where she's pissed off because now, you know, Wendy has more magic power than her, and she just starts gashing away at Wendy's body. And she says, in Irene, well, Wendy in Irene's body says, the scars on my body represent my friends. And I, you know, they get her body back, and Wendy passes out, and she's like, I'll leave it to you, Urza. And that's when Irene flips the fuck out and turns into a dragon and just whoosh launches Urza. And Urza, she, like, she's fucked here. She goes, with just one hit, she shattered my bones. And you can see everything, but her right arm is moving. Or it might be her left. I think it's her left. And she's just like, I can't do this. And, you know, Irene goes on to say, I'm a sage dragon, so... When I'm in this form, my magic goes into the supreme version, high enchant magic, master enchant. Uh, and she's pulling a comet down from the sky. She's like, you just need to die. You're ruining my happiness. You are a worthless thing. You know, you're useless to me. She pulls down a meteor from the sky on Urza. And Urza goes, if this hits me, I'm dead. And she uses just whatever she's got in that arm to just propel herself upwards towards it. And she goes, at some point in time, people started calling me Titania, the fairy queen. And if you're the queen of the dragons, I guess I don't mind being Titania. And she just launches into it. And presumably she's dead here. I don't think she is. I hope she isn't. But then again, I hope she is because it would be an amazing way for her to go out. And she says, Master, lend me your strength. That's what leads me to think there's no way she's dead. But that is the end of the episode. Like I said, if Urza is dead, I'm going to be upset because Urza is a key figure of this show. Then again, if Urza does die this way, she died protecting everyone because that meteor would literally kill everyone in Fiore. Everyone. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, but yeah, she launched up at it and she's like, you know, this is my last drive. And Irene said something crazy here at the end. She goes, my daughter. So I don't know where that's going, but uh, it was awesome. I loved it. I mean, you can have what you want and say what you want about this episode. I thought it was cool, but that's just my take on it. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to go uh, do a little bit of uh, catch up on some stuff on Crunchyroll, and uh, get ready for the Boruto review. So yeah, I'll catch y'all then. Peace out. Take a moment right here Feeling like a sub gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my head